My uh, very old friend Dennis Armstrong, I remember from the first time that ever he came up to guest with my band in Newcastle when he was still in, uh, in Leeds, and uh, in the Yorkshire Post Jazz Band of Blessed Memory. And uh, he had this strange habit of starting out each tune by telling everyone how badly he was going to play it. <laughs> he still does it, yes. <laughs> but um, I also remember him in the, the rugby club in, uh, where the hell was it, some obscure little Scottish jazz festival, which I think has now died. Uh, anyway, he, we were playing in the rugby club there. We, we came on after him and his band was in the last few numbers. And it had one of these televisions up on the wall on a sort of bracket, support bracket. And Dennis had taken a, a step too many backwards and opened his scalp up. And we walked in there and he's playing with blood. <laughs> and, you know, you talk about Louis playing with a split lip and a little bit of blood down the chin. This was quite spectacular. Anyway. Uh, so I won't start off by saying that the last time we played this, um, it, it was a total pig's ear. So there's a, a pretty good chance that it'll be spot on perfect this time. <laughs> it's another called a, hi a Hi-Hat, a Piccolo and a Cane, and the singer on this one was the great and wonderful Putney Dandridge. <laughs>
you haven't heard of Putney Dandridge before, rush out and buy a CD of Putney Dandridge because it's fantastic. And great bands behind them all the time. Anyway, uh, oh, this next one, yes, uh, features another great vocalist, De Nos Jours. Um, um, oh, yeah. <laughs> I should say this, this tune, which dates from 1927, was recorded by amongst others, Red and his Candy Kids. Lovely, that. Uh, Jan Garber and his orchestra, and the singer Von de Leith. And her name was actually something like Wanda Von der Leith, a very German name, so she just dropped the first bit and became Von de Leith. <laughs> Desperately looking for the uh, lyrics since my memory has raised itself. Spats has passed them over to me. It's called Stagecraft, that is. <laughs> I learned that at college. Uh, right, so. Uh, yes, this tune is uh, from 1927, I think. Um, and it's, 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 it's. Sometimes it's called Somebody Said on the record label, sometimes it's called What Do I Care What Somebody Said. I and mean, it's a silly tune, and uh, it goes like this.
you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Don McPhil on the vocal duties. Well, um, I'm going to play you a, a guitar solo now. They're all going to disappear. And uh, I just want to quickly tell you about this, ladies and gentlemen, is that um, in the 1920s, the banjo was, was king, of course. Uh, and then the microphone was invented. And of course, everything changed when the microphone invented. And the singing changed. You see, before 1926 or 27, all the singers were like Al Jolson, you know. They could fill an auditorium without a, a microphone at all, you see. And then the microphone was invented, and all of a sudden the singers changed as well. So you get people like Bing Crosby, and they had a softer tone, and they sang in what we call now the crooning style, the more, uh, um, you know, intimate with the microphone, shall we say. And it, it changed instruments as well, because the banjo, the kind of the strident tones of the banjo wasn't required anymore, because you see, you could... You could record with a with a with a guitar, you see, and it was all changing. Everything was changing, and some of the very early guitar players, the pioneer guitar players, were extraordinary players. And um, there was Eddie Lang, the great Eddie Lang, and there was uh, um, Dick Madonna. He was a fabulous player. I mean, he was way ahead of his time. And uh, Carl Cress, Bernard Addison, Al Casey, all of these great guitar players. And they all played acoustic guitars, ladies and gentlemen. There's a very short period when this style of guitar playing, which I'm going to play for you now, was absolutely the bee's knees. It was the it was the what Jimi Hendrix did in the 1960s. You know, it was like that in 1931. And uh, then, of course, some wise guy invented the electric guitar, and it's just the end of it all, then, isn't it? You know, <laughs> television, electric guitar, margarine. <laughs> yeah. Everybody knows where you are all the time these days, don't they? You know, it's all satellites and things like that. Anyway, this song I'm going to play for you now, ladies and gentlemen, is from, uh, from the early 30s. Dick Madonna, the great guitarist, and uh, it's, uh, it's a tune called Wide Awake, the Insomniac's Lament. <laughs> this is how they played it.
我哋嚟向呢度諗。